And we're waiting for the show to go live. I'm waiting for the little thingy to come up. And it's up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm rowing a boat. Are you rowing a boat? I don't get it. Why are you rowing a boat? This is your face, okay, everybody? This don't is... you know what trolling is? Oh, that's. I don't think of trolling as boat rowing. I think of trolling as like those big trollers with the. Have you ever Have you ever seen me row a boat? That's T T, -T R A W L. Have you ever seen me row a boat? I go in circles. I did not. I have. I, I guess because of the one. T -Rex one strong arm, arm, and then the. So you're like uh, Kaiser Wilhelm. Kaiser Wilhelm. Had that I can't. one. One strong arm and that that one weak arm, and his dad abused him and made him made him no matter what learn how to ride horses, and then he grew up and, and invaded the world. And lesson learned here, folks: if your kid is born with a weak arm, don't insist that they learn how to ride horses because because then they're going to start a world war. Don't do it. Just say no. So welcome. My name is Paul Gordon. Like you I'm, care. I'm Andrew. Marriage. Really? Also known as Bodhi Gora. You're going with Andrew Marich. We, we, we had this conversation. and then he That was the right other away. show. That's this show. I'm That's gonna what be... the conversation was about. This is Bodhi Agora. We're going to be shit posting about what we've seen on Facebook, and I want people to know my name because I'm not hiding. Isn't your name? Well, it's really both, right? Are you, are you yeah, legitimizing one of your names? Are you delegitimizing a... Andrew or Bodhi or one I, of those? Yeah. Uh, let's just jump into the show, man. Let's just do yeah. this. We're going to go to Bodie One. Ready? Bodie One. Mm -hmm. Boom! Hi. I got Dave Painter here. Dave Painter. Dave Painter. That's what we're talking. I'm going to make this big oh. and, then, and then make it small. So we got 10 things. One is the truth. The U.S. government isn't the target terrorist group. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't read that. The tires crash. You can, read, read, read your freaking thing, man. You look on your phone and read it. Tell us about this. This is your thing. Go ahead. Oh, let me get it. Let me get it up. He, there's more head. coming. Come on, Bolo Head. Where the fuck did it go now? Make it happen, man. It's oh, up yeah. there. It's on the screen my, right now. My one comment, and I'll just say that I'll get this right off the bat. Oh my, it's trying to communicate with lists now. It is. Who's trying to communicate with lists? Dave. Dave is trying to communicate. Right now, Dave is trying to communicate with Liz. Can you document that Dave is trying to communicate with Well, yeah, because it Liz? says 10 things. One is the truth. One oh, oh, I see. The yes. Truth. The oh, truth. Oh, I get it. So this is like the band thing. Except this he's is like doing the band. it in reverse. He's doing it with the an quote unquote anarchies. So this is like pick one. His version of statism. Pick, yeah, this, this is, is pick, pick one. This is, this is pick one out of 10. This so is, number this one. This is pick one on steroids. The U.S. government isn't the largest terrorist group in the world. Oh. No, it's not. It's a, the it's... U.S. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I read it wrong. The U.S. government isn't the largest terrorist group. The in the world. The in the world. That's the a in the world. Technical terminology, and that's actually true. The largest terror terrorist organization in the world is actually a living uh, coral reef underneath the sea. Very so... impressive. Very impressive. Very impressive. Very impressive. Well, that's false, right there, right, right off the bat. Right. Right. Obvious. Two, the state is necessary. That's when That's you true. when you have a giant state freaking, that exists. No, when you have a giant coral reef, a sentient coral reef that is the number one terrorist entity in the world. Yeah, you need a state. How are you going to stop that without a state? That makes that's sense. A good point. Right, I so mean, people say without roads. I say, you know, uh, you know, our, who will take care of the roads? Who will who will stop the giant coral reef? Anyway, right. so that's the truth right there. Uh, number three, GMO food is great for you. That is completely subjective. That's subjective. That's I mean, if it tastes good, great. If it doesn't, how's that? How's then... that false? I don't. Right. I, whatever. Uh, GM. Uh, sorry, I almost read it twice because of the GMO food. Um, fluoride is fine and dandy for your health. Absolutely. I I live off of fluoride and anything that they're fine. It's really fucked up. I five. Uh, number five. Fluoride's not vote, good. Voting, voting works this time. I don't even know what in context that refers to. Well, if voting works this time, I guess it would depend on the person. Maybe voting works this time. You're like, yo, man, if I, if I vote this time and I tell my wife my vote, I'm going to get me some tonight. And then he voted and he tells his wife and he gets some that night. Guess what? Voting worked for him. Boom. Yeah. Wrecked. It, Wrecked. But yeah. what in what context is voting? Yeah. It's, That's what I'm so, saying. You, you, yeah. You, you, you could be like, like voting like. 
the one person off the island and you didn't get voted off the island. Hey, it worked for you. Yeah. Number six, taxation is theft, parentheses, extortion. Taxation is... Uh, Period. Uh, yeah, he absolutely. Put a, he, he actually punctuated that one. Yeah, well, he's right. The taxation is theft, it's extortion. Boom. And next. And stop. So and that was, stop. I think, that was his attempt at truth, I think. That's nice. Uh, number seven, bacon is horrible. Okay, you shut your whore mouth, Dave. Okay, you shut your freaking whore mouth. Okay. I think ten things. One is the truth, and we've already found a couple truths. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, you're 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 blown, buddy, because you're, we've already you're, found more than one thing that's true. You're you know what? The very you. first, the very first thing you say. Ten things are. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like. You know, the statement on the other side of the card is true. The statement on the other card is false. That's kind of what you did because your first sentence is not true. Objectively. Ooh. Boom. Ooh. Wrecked. Okay, number eight, Bon Jovi is the best band ever. I didn't think Bon Jovi was a band. I didn't think it was a band either. I thought it was a disease. It was like a hoof and mouth kind of disease. Was that right. That? That's what the that's sailors what I, got when they stayed on the sea yeah, too they long got bon and sucked Jovi's. on their toes. They got Bon Jovi's. That's what I, that's what I understood. It's like one dead or alive if you have Bon Jovi's. I, I, preferably dead. Uh, number nine, communism can work on and off paper. I, I mean, I don't know what that means for communism to work, I suppose. Work. Commies don't work. I don't know. I didn't know that. Uh, can an idea work? Does it, like, actually do the work? I thought individuals work. And... Uh, oh, yeah. I thought only individuals act. Boom. Yeah, uh, boom. Wrecked. Okay. Dude, we're hammering uh, and then this. We're number hammering ten, this. Number ten. Like performative contradictions all over the place, man. Prepare yourself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Morality is subjective. Boom. Wrecked. Fact. Fact. Objective fact, actually. Yeah. On the actually, nature of language. Yeah. 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 So, so why, why did you pick this particular? Because I missed the old Dave. You missed the old Dave? I miss the old Dave, too, although I didn't know the old Dave. Actually, I, I kind of got in on the tail end of the old Dave, and then the old Dave became the new Dave Like shortly after I got to know the old Dave. When I first got into the Seeds of Liberty telegram I, I, I still love you, Dave. No, no offense. I still love you, too. I think we can still save him. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can. We're hoping. But, like, we had this, we would have mind-blowing, like, psychedelic, like, existential, crazy conversations and stuff. And over the last year, it's just he's just gotten progressively more like. Now he smiles a lot. Now he smiles in a lot. Posts, in posts, smiles yeah. a lot. Matter of fact, oh no, is that him? Who smiled? Who smiled there? Who gave a little? Is that Craig? Is I that think Craig there. Craig. Craig's know. awesome, by the way. I like Craig. GMO food is just food. Kissy yeah, face. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And Dave's response. Uh, great news. Great news. Great see, news. see, that's. Dave, Dave is like, you know, he's like ninja water. You know, it's like, mm, nope, nope, nope. You're not going to, nope, nope. I'm going to ha- I'm going to guide you to discover for yourself. That's the, I think that's what he's doing here. Are, 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 are we're, we're done with this? Yeah, it just pissed me off. It, it was just like, It was really? just like, pick one on a big scale. So we'll get rid of that and we're going to bring up mine. And this is, uh, as you guys can see, uh, I, uh, I did this for you, Bodie. Oh, great. You know I did this for you. I was a little agitated at you. Oh, you agitated so, at me? Yeah, I know. So I posted wow. I posted solo artist, and uh, I was so happy that you actually answered the call, and you got triggered, and it was so wonderful. I was like, yes, I got triggered. So he said here, he said, you go solo. You lose the Bodhi charm. And then I was like, I decided to be nice. I was like, not exclusively, jeez. But inside, I was cracking up. But I have to say, I, I should have showed that there were some comments there that I actually cut off. I shouldn't have. Uh, I think I double. I think I super trolled you. Because I, I no, you didn't super troll me. You had your little commie friends came in, and they're like, "Paul, who?" So it's like, wow. I was like, I, I better not go solo because I'd be like, uh, I'd be like the Ringo star of this band. They'd be like. I, I did the one thing. I did like the, the quest for well, fire. You go solo. I mean, yeah. the, the band doesn't quite appreciate yeah. I, uh, I, I, the I, drummer. Yeah. And you're really building the framework for the entire set. And, you know, a drummer on his own can entertain a crowd, but a band without a drummer 
I mean, you got maybe a couple of acoustic eggs, yes, and that's yes. about it. Uh, pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, uh, the Beatles uh, would be anything without yeah, me. Yeah, the only thing that I would get out of I'd get a Quest for Fire movie, in which I looked a little creepy, but it was a cool movie. I like Quest for Fire. Quest for Fire was awesome. And that's it. I don't have anything more to say to that. I just, uh, I wanted to trick Bodie, and I did. And I was very happy that I triggered him because uh, actually uh, part of uh, why I did this is coming up later. Wow. And now we're going to Bodie's. We got Bodie. We got you up here. And this is, where is it here? Come on. There it is. Oh, come on. When you go to enlarge things, it's like, one thing I don't like about OBS, when you click on something, you think you're moving it. You're not. You keep taxing that word. I don't think you know what it means. Why is this here? You what? Picked it. This is your thing, man. Pay Did attention. You keep... It's a meme from Jared French. You keep oh, yeah. taxing that word. I don't think you know what it means. Yeah, because I said something about... Co he got all upset about commies. And he was trying to whatever. And I was like, bro, you got trolled, man. He was like trying to have an argument with me. And I'm like, I'm not really a commie. And he was just like, what? I'm going to address, by the way, the whole commie thing a little later on. Yeah, that was the point of it. That's it? That's it. That wasn't anything special. Then we'll go to the next one then. We'll go to Paul. Let's see what Paul's next one is. Boom! Dylan Robinson. Unemployed. Dylan Robinson. He got fired for being <laughs> in proximity to Bodie while a lateness was occurring. Pretty much, right? Is that what we've decided? Yeah, there's actually really no reason to fire him. No, no, there was no reason to fire him. Dylan Robinson, guilty by association, literally guilty by association. But he made this clever meme and he posted it on Seeds of Liberty. So, you know, he's spreading the good word of Paul Gordon. I really appreciate him for that. And Bodie shared this too, which is why I did what I did. Paul Gordon yeah. talking about show ideas. And then it says showtime, Paul. And showtime. it shows the desert. It shows the desert. It's got the tumbleweed and everything. It's got the tumbleweed. And so I, I do want to say for the record that I, I think twice in all the shows that I've done in the last yeah. three years, where I actually didn't show up when I said I would. Everything else has always been, well, I can't show up, but I let you know in advance. So, I don't Yeah, know. and by in advance, you mean like five minutes before showtime? Not five, five minutes. Maybe two hours, three hours. Three and a half minutes. Uh, or then I get, I get a Bodie. I get a Bodie from last week, or was it the week before, where uh, Bodie is like, I can't believe that Paul no-showed. He's like, where's Paul? And you also did the Pope Wars thing where you made it. Yeah, and I... And, and either, I butchered the show. Yeah, and, and I butchered, butchered the, show. the show. You can't do. I couldn't do Poke Wars without you. So I feel like you know, I, it's it's a two man show. It's a two man job, Poke Wars. And we will be doing Poke Wars this week. And we have even though even though I butchered the show, I realized quite quickly that when I went through all of the pokes, including yours, in eight minutes, that the solo act was not going to work. So I'm kind of no. glad it got fucked up. Yeah, secret you, is, secret is that was not on purpose. That was a complete error on my it, part. But it did seem that way, so it was awesome. But so we rolled with the Russians, and that was fine. But 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 anyway, I have to get my hats off to Dylan. This is some master trolling here, and master uh, trolling. He really was triggered. Excellent meme. So you know, e excellent memeing while we were at work. That's yeah. probably why we got fired. <laughs> probably you got wonder, fired for memeing while at work. Memeing they, while at work. Actually, that's a thing now. I that can't wait till they thing, find actually his meme Remember. stash, meme stash. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Meme. I would like to see Dylan Robinson's meme stash. That's the only secret thing about Dylan. It, it's basically a bunch of Ron Swanson and like okay. Sterner memes. I got a question here. I wonder if I'm being heard right now. Okay, oh, there no. I am. Audio. Okay, no, I'm in. Okay, I was worried. Oh, okay. And, if, and just, just, just check the studio audience if you guys can hear me. I'm assuming that somebody would have commented by now and said, Paul. Oh, Paul, wow. We look good. Paul, I can't hear. Oh, you see the, the way the setup is, man? It's got pretty good, man. Well, I just watched it. This is great. This is beautiful. This, this is fantastic. And good now I'm, I'm going to go to the next one. Ready? Go yeah, to the next see, one. See, we're in a nerd office there. I mean, come on. That's fitting. 
That's where I belong. That's where I belong, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I am comfortable in my nerd skin. I like the Route 66 side. By the way, I'm comfortable in other people's nerd skin, too. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm or, comfortable or with or without. I'm comfortable in human skin in general, and I don't want to limit myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't want to limit yourself. I don't want to be a square. Mel Melissa says I would have said something. I wonder about what she's talking about. I don't if, remember if, if she couldn't hear me. Oh, Somebody yeah, would have said somebody, something. Yeah, okay. All right, we're Unfor gonna go. To, we're gonna go. To, go ahead. Unfortunately, we can hear you, Paul. Oh, that hurts, Melissa. That hurts. That hurts. No, that was John Smith. John Smith at two, John. You know, I provide you with hours and hours of Facebook at two, John A. At two, John. At two, John. You, you fucking dick. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. I would probably call you a fornicating penis, but I wouldn't call you that because I'm a decent person. So Chris here, Fulmer says he can hear you. Good. And you know what? And you know what? After this, everybody will hear us. <laughs> that was George Bush, by the way. It was man, George Bush there. Okay, so we got the next, the next Bodie. Right. Bodie number three. This is which one was this one? You know when you write tax is theft. Oh my! This is one of your your how many people can I trigger uh, posts? Oh, yeah, I triggered everyone that ever waitressed or waited Whoa! at the table. You waitress. You assume all waiters are waitresses or all waitresses are I, I would are hope waiters. so. I don't, way I'm more a, fun. I would rather have a waitress. Objective fact. Only because yeah. women are better organized and more competent than men. I hope and they I, have tits. I, I hope I saved that. I didn't, I didn't add the mammary thing. I didn't do that. Although mammaries. and ass. I like to and ass. So, so tell us about this. Why'd you pick this? I picked this because I was sick of people sharing that there's a little libertarian. This is how libertarians tip. And the guy left a $7 tip and wrote taxes theft. And I was like. And, and that hurt you? That hurt you? How? how did, show us on the it doll didn't hurt that me, hurt but, you. But I called it. I basically call that. That's. that's um, uh, What's his name? That's, uh, that's clever marketing, dude. It's Ralph that's Wiggaming. all it is. It's Ralph Wiggaming. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm, I'm helping. helping. You know what? He is helping. Ralph is helping. I I I was at a party uh, a month or so ago, and some state upon state face person, total square nerble, uh, by my by my anarchy standards, of course. Your nerble gerbil. Total square nerble said, "Well, you know, taxation is theft." I kid you not. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> it, no. It, it could be that taxation is theft is becoming a pointless oh, slogan a that has I, no... Does, is your screen catching this hoodie boner? <laughs> I did. That's a technical term, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't want you thinking that Bodhi is being untowards. Taxation makes me hard. <laughs> oh, you like some taxations. And I'm wearing... I'm By the way, I'm wearing a Bodhi shirt. I recommend that everybody go yeah. to agora.threadless.com. Okay. Buy uh, that Bodies. one's not on agora.throwthis.com, but oh, that is on? on the Agora. So if you go to facebook.com slash Bodie's Agora and go to the shop, you'll Nobody's going to gonna remember that. Nobody knows how to spell Bodie. It's got like 13 silent Bs in it. So how are they going to remember how to spell that? But, but yes, I am wearing, I'm wearing Bodie. I often wear Bodie. I, I, often I wear ordered Bodie. a new Bodie. Uh, <gasps> I ordered the, uh, the sheepy, the, the kami sheep. Yeah, that's gotta a good one. Get, I got to get the commie sheep. I got to wear that. Actually, that's going to be a really great uh, shirt for one. Because it has the, has the hammer and sickle. Right. It has the hammer and sickle. So anything else to say about this uh, story that you picked here? No, just libertarian. Libertarians are hilarious. Libertarians are hilarious. You know, it's funny. I'm helping by confusing people and making them hate me. <laughs> And and making it's like, yeah, the most self-destructing movement ever. And, and making what was once a very thoughtful phrase that actually could get people to think, and turning it into a breakfast cereal slogan. So yeah. congratulations, congratulations! Taxation is theft is now a breakfast cereal slogan. You know that you've arrived, and you're going to see it someday. You're going to start seeing taxation is theft uh, memes showing up in uh, uh, Adidas commercials. Actually, Adidas yeah. is going to make a taxation is theft shoe. Then There's going to be a Nike commercial arrived. too. Right. Tax is theft. Taxation. Oh, no. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Shia I got this. Book. Hold on. No, no. I'm not going to do Shia, but that's a great idea too. Just do it. Smell that freedom. Do you live that freedom? 
Inhale that freedom. Cover your body in freedom. Taxation is that from Calvin Klein. There you go. There you I'd go. Wanna, the I'd cologne. I would want to stink with that. And, I would and stink with that. me being the model, sexy, sexy model. Dude, people would smell it. Oh, they'd be like, I'm, I want to smell him so bad. I want to smell him so bad. I am getting taxation and stuff by Calvin and Clyde. Uh, and that'd be great when you go to buy it. You're going to buy taxation and stuff. You're like, that'll be $15.99 plus tax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. That's terrible. That's, I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. So why don't, why don't we go on to Paul's... Let's number go on to Paul's number three. Paul's number three is. Wait, Better why did I pick three. this, man? Who knows? Oh, you dude, probably were... I hosted. it. I picked the wrong things, man. Probably drunk. Uh, no, I, I. I mean, I've heard a drunk posting, but I haven't heard a drunk screenshotting. That's that's unfortunate. I'm just gonna have to. Oh no, I know why. Oh no, this is the Larry. This is Larry right here. Larry, Larry, are you paying attention, Larry? This is for you. I'm even blocking myself out. I want to make sure everybody can see this. So I posted this. Uh, it's about uh, Lee Stratahan, who worked for Breitbart. He was their inside reporter. He got fired from Breitbart because he wanted to do a story, basically, that was kind of not so good about Ivanka and Jared. And I don't really care about... I don't got to... These are not my monkeys. This is not my my uh, uh, circus. But I thought it was interesting, I, and I and I hashtagged it. Shots fired, and uh, Larry came he got on. Triggered. He got triggered. Larry, the UN at Larry, Larry gets triggered easily. By the way, he's a state of on state face that gets triggered, and I do not have many state of on state faces like Larry that are still friends with me. But Larry is special. I, I really, I, I like Larry. I really, do. I like Larry too. He's Larry, probably Larry. He, Larry, the thing I like about Larry, Larry gives it hard and he takes it hard and he's still there. So yeah, I like, I like Larry, but, but he's, he's a, he's a total state of on state face, Trump worshiping, uh, whatever. I, uh, he said the, the Breitbart convo, cow crowd have turned into real legitimate. Uh, he used to, he was, he was a word for kitty cat, uh, Kushner, wah, Ivanka, wah. I, he, well, he spelled out "wow." That was clever, and he didn't put the silent "b" in though. That was that was wrong. These people want to save their wait, kitty cat. Yeah, uh, turned into real legitimate kitty cats. It, it begins with a P. Um, these people. Penelope. No, it 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 rhymes with wussies. Uh, these people want to take their ball and and go home. That's right, uh, uh, Patokis. Pet petokies. That's exactly what I was going to say. These people want to take their ball. Posses. And, posses. That's it. And go home after two Stop months. Me. Every, <laughs> right. Well, you got it now. Wow. Everyone thought they were going to be players. Everyone thought they were now an insider. And I actually, I, 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 I posted out my thing, but basically I was saying, well, I, you know, congratulations on the statue that you've built. And, uh, it's really nice to see how much you're shining up that, uh, that that daddy statue at home, but Larry regularly comes on. He says, "I I, I honestly, Larry, you're trolling. Larry, I know you're trolling. Yeah, you're I trolling, know you yeah. you have to only believe about twenty five percent of what you say because he like he, he, he'll he'll like you know a a cop beats a ch a baby to death in the middle of the st actually a cop beats a baby to death in the middle of church during church and Larry will say baby had it coming." <laughs> Come on. I know he's not thinking that, but he's like, he's got to say it. Baby had it coming. He's uh, he's not a very tolerant young well, man. Well, especially if the baby was in a church. Well, yeah, I, exactly. I don't know what that means, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, and and that's it. That's all I got for her. What, what I got How's the pizza, Larry? What, what, what I got for you, Larry, is I, I, I believe wow. that if you, if you keep sticking around, I believe. <laughs> oh what was that? I missed that. Go ahead, say that I again. I said, how's the pizza, Larry? What, give me that reference. I didn't get it. Pizza Gate. Oh no, you didn't. Don't go to Cosmo Pizza, Larry. Don't go to Cosmo Pizza. Is not your home. It's not friendly. Nobody likes you there. No baby had it coming. Oh oh. I'm 
embarrassed at this point for you, Bodie, for you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to push through. So, so Larry, <laughs> stay with us. That didn't help. I'm not. Oh, gosh, that didn't help. <laughs> Language is a tricky thing. <laughs> when you want to. When you want to change direction into a more correct, more serene path, it's not always the path that you expect when the words come out of your mouth. So, Larry, I feel bad as a, I feel like a bad human being. Well, it's okay, it's okay. And right now you're That's being blocked it. out by by this yeah. thing. So let me let me let me shrink this down here. And uh, Larry, uh, stick with us. That's all I got to say. Stick with us, and uh, you can keep doing your trolley von trolley comments. And I say, give you another year, and you'll be like anarchy. And then you'll become like an annoying born again anarchy, and you'll be like preaching anarchy like ridiculous and looking for anarchy purism and uh, ticking me off. I'm sure. So you'll be ticking me off. Either way, you're going to be ticking me off. You're going to be and, ticking you know, me off. Yeah. Are you ready to go to the next one? This is your yes. last one. And this one is really kind of enigmatic. It just says karma. Karma. Tell me. Oh, karma. Oh, I know what karma is. Hold on. I got it. Ready? I got it. Ready? This is the shit on, on Christine. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, Christine, are you watching? Is she still here? I don't know. Oh, she should be. If not, we're going to have to share this and point this out to her. Oh, there she is. There she is. There uh -oh. she is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She has a face there. What is that face? It's like, what does that mean, by the way, the face that's like that? It's got the one tear thing. It's just like, it said like the one tear. It's like, I'm, I'm sad about this, laughing. but I only, oh, that's laughing? I'm laughing so hard I'm crying. Oh, I don't, I don't take it that oh, way. Oh, you mean the one with the just the doop? the tear hanging up above? Yeah, that's like a stress thing, like a da. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't, actually, man? I don't know. I have to look at it. Yeah, I don't oh, know that thing. Oh, that's like an embarrassing, like don't. Oh, okay. So she's embarrassed for you. She's embarrassed for herself. Oh, for herself. Okay, as so she should be. So, ladies and I'm going to explain to you what karma is. Karma is when you do something bad. The universe, uh, it like calculates how much bad you did, and then it's like it's gonna come back and get you. It's like the cognizant universe is gonna get you. <laughs> I think we lost Bodie. <laughs> oh no! Uh, you have a different interpretation. Karma is just the sum total of action and reaction. That sounds so nerdy. That sounds way stupid. All it than means what I is said. action. It means a confluence of action, which it's tends... an awareness of action. It doesn't mean that there's some cosmic overlord dishing shit out. It doesn't mean what goes around comes around. It just means for every action, there's a reaction. Does it mean the universe is a cognizant being? No, I think it does, because I hear that way, that way all the time. I heard that song by John Lennon, "Instant Karma," and that's that's truth to me. John Lennon died for that song. Instant karma makes sense. It, he died for that song. How does instant, instant karma make action. sense? Because there's an immediate reaction to every action, every thought, every whatever. There's. Do, there's do you a suffer a negative consequence for every negative action? No. It's not about ah, negative. Ah, but see, that's how people take karma. If you do something bad, something bad happens to you. That's No. Didn't you ever hear that song, Karma Chameleon? Carter Club? I mean, that's like... That is some truth laying out there. No, well, this thing tr that triggered. Come, 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 The universe is sentient. The universe is sentient. It really triggered me because the whole concept of karma is not about justice or anything like that. It's actually kind of the opposite. It's just kind of like, well, you kind of got to deal with what it is. Like, there's really nothing you can fucking do about it. More orange juice. For the for the for the looming cold, just in case. It's I... a very stoic concept. I don't. How is that? I don't interpret so stoicism in that matter. Basically, it's the idea that the universe doesn't give a shit. Oh, okay. It is what it is. So it's communism. Yeah, that's what I thought. Communism. Which, which is actually going to take us to our last one. Yep. Actually, going to take us to our last one. Oh, is this your thing today? Yep. Um, I love this. So I put this out here, and by the way, folks, just so oh you God. know, I do I do write things that are just thoughts. I'm like, hey, you know, I don't know what I think about this. This is an interesting thought. I'm gonna put it out here. I'm gonna see what kind of reactions I get and see 
where the idea leads to and see if there's any meat to the bone here or if it's all bone. But I got uh, interesting reactions here. I actually got interesting reactions from two dudes that I like. I like both these dudes. I like you. Liked. I still like them. Liked. Uh, well, I actually still like them. So okay. I still like them too. So so I got uh, I got stick um, stick EC. Every time I see his name, I always think stick EC. Sticky I always C. think of uh, I always think of Stick Stickly. Sticky C, baby, Sticky C. I think C. of Stick Stickly. Sticky C is fit though, man. That dude is fit, man. Wow. Seriously, I would not violate his n- nap in person. I'm serious. He is. I fit. probably wouldn't want to smell him. Well, I, I don't mean like he's fit, gorgeous. I mean like he he's fit. He's hardcore. And then there's Bill Seeds, and Bill is just a an icon for me. I don't know what you really look like, Bill, and I've never gone into your Facebook page to try to find a real picture of you, and that's cool. I don't care. Uh, uh, but actually, Sticks Sticks comment actually kind of hurt me. I was actually I was actually triggered by Sticks comment, and uh, he he was like uh, he was like he was he was he was he was saying that after this trigger warnings, property is a myth, power is the reality. That he was considering unfollowing me. Yeah, which is you know he could do that. It's his business, but yeah, I, I he usually with some regularity I see him on my thing, and I, I wait, I see him on my thing. Language, Paul. We're fra- oh, so we're phrasing now. Yes, we're phrasing. So, <laughs> and I comment on his. So you know, it's it's why why uh, uh, people can choose why to friend or un or follow or unfollow or whatever, but uh, yeah. But that would just be a yeah. Really for me, it takes a lot more than than trigger warning. Than something problems. I disagree with. But but he also doesn't like my uh, my trolling. I do troll, and he doesn't like that. And it's interesting. Some people well because he falls for it. Some people really enjoy my trolling, and some people really hate it. And I don't care. I mean, I do care to a certain degree, but I don't care enough to stop doing what I want to do with Facebook, which is... I have found way better friends by trolling and watching people go. Yeah, I actually, uh, you know, I used to have a test, and... This was in my early twenties. I don't. Well, well, I I kind of have this test, sort of, and that is when when I would first meet people, I I I would go a little bit overboard with it, but I I still kind of do a version of this, just not as much. But I kind of have a test with people where I try to be a little bit more absurd, even than I normally am, and I'm a pretty absurd person. And you're I, pretty out there. I'm pretty out there. That's and, why I like you. And if people like react like kind of prudish and kind of. Uh, you know, if you can't be serious, you know, generally speaking, I'm you, probably not going to gravitate toward that person. I like people uh, that that can be totally trolly, and because, you know, I guess it's, fun. you know, I, I I I I kind of I really love stoicism, and uh, and <laughs> as we were talking about it earlier, you know, there's so many things in life that we don't control, and yeah, so let let's try to have fun with the absurdity, and uh, really, we're we're never going to have all the freaking answers. I, I believe I actually believe in absolute truth. I just don't believe that we're ever going to fully see it, and I'm okay unless, with that. Unless you consciously control your heartbeat, you do not own yourself. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, not only your heartbeat, you have to control your heartbeat, and you have to control breathing. All the, you have to control all the microbes in your body that are acting Everything. against your will. Your you have enzymes, to stop the aging process that's acting hormones, against your everything. will. Unless, of course, you want to get old. If you want everything that they want, then hey, great, you're all symbiotic and it's PG King. But, but really, they're violating your possession. All you're violating the nap of the bacteria on your body, right? So, so, so I, I and then Bill Seeds basically he says, "Wow, so you're a commie." So, I just say for the record, ladies and gentlemen, I am not a commie. This is literally it's literally like I, the red scare all I, over. I I play one on TV. Well, I play one on Facebook on occasionally, especially cuz I actually saw someone praising McCarthyism. Yeah, and I could defend certain elements, certain element based on what I know, which I am not an expert in McCarthyism, so I could be totally wrong. But praising McCarthyism is uh I guess if you're a state of state face, you might praise McCarthyism, but if you're yeah, but these are supposed anarchists. If you're an anarchist, I'm not sure how you're praising McCarthy because it's totally within the state of state face parameter. It's one state trying to shake down another state, and they're not really all that different from one another. So what are you praising? Huh. But, Seriously. But anyway, Bill, I am not a commie just because I am willing to ask questions that maybe sounds like I'm a commie. I'm willing to ask questions about property and ownership. I don't I don't have the answers. I don't 
claim to have any definitive answers, but yeah, I, well, that I, means I, you're I like confident. entertaining. If you don't have answers, then well, if you don't have answers, it's it's it's, it's either you if you ex- can't decide for me, then you know it's either self ownership or commie. Right? That's there's it. there's self-ownership no self ownership or commie. There's, there's no gradations of anything in between. There's either. no different opinions based on context. And or... when and when people say commie, everybody knows exactly. There's only one type of. I mean, when you say commie, everybody yeah. in that commie field, they all think and act and feel and. And they're all tankies. They're all the same way. They're all the same way. Yeah, they're all tankies. They, you know, they, yeah, they're, they're all exactly the same way. So, so I, I actually brought this up, not so much to talk about, uh, especially for individualists who, 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 who think individual action and individual sovereignty are important. You know, it makes sense that they would just collectivize everyone they disagree with. Right. Um, wow. Which is kind of what you're doing there, folks. You're collectivizing, uh, as much as you're standing against collectivize. By the way, I'm not against collectivization. I think that there's no. some, some, some positive ways that we can use collectivism, but uh, so you're, not, you're, not, not, so you're not, not, nothing coercive, nothing of a just, coercive nature. And just, just admit it, Paul. You're you're coming. <laughs> yeah, nothing of a coercive nature, and, and I will not, in general, I won't make assumptions about individuals based on whatever group they make. But I will make assumptions about groups. But, yeah. but if you're part of that group, I won't make For the assumption about you as an individual. Right. I'm going to find out who and what you are and what you really believe. I know, like, okay, you Basically meet... Basically a giant straw man. You meet somebody who's Catholic, and you get to talk to them. You're going to find out that eh, Catholics have a lot of different beliefs. They don't believe the same things. So I don't assume anything. When when I meet uh, an anarchist, uh, wow. So, I've learned the hard way. So right? many different views when it comes. It's not just simply no rulers for most people. It's not just no rulers. Most no. people have added on a whole other level of stuff. But my reason for bringing some of this, them have some of them are against tape measures. Right. My reason for bringing this up is, uh, dudes, uh, you know, don't take you get it. it. I, I didn't hear that. Sorry. Say it again. Some of them are against tape measures. Right. Right. Some of them are against tape measures, and they don't. They didn't get it. You know, it's like, oh, oh, I know. I can't go laser. along with that. Some of them use yeah. a laser, right? Right? Right. Right? They didn't make the connection. They didn't make the true crossover yet. But uh, my, my reason for bringing this up is uh, uh, I, I, I like you, Stick, and I like you, Bill. You guys can do what you want, whether you decide to follow or unfollow. Or I'm really not going to change how I do Facebook. They're probably not going to watch. They're not going to get past the first half of the show. Oh, we're going to have to cut this out. We're going to have to cut this out and, and send it to them. Uh, but I, I like conversations, and I like exploring the I unexplorable. I mean, even I mean, I, 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 I explore difficult questions, even when it comes to my own faith. I'm a Christian. I, I explore some difficult questions uh yeah and we'll be up till like five in the morning talking right, yeah about yeah it. yeah or or my sock which is probably the same level of discourse but uh that's another matter altogether i don't mean that personally Bodie. you know you're dumb as a sock i mean i know, you know i'm that. as dumb as a sock right. i mean i'm dumb as a sock too so it's a good conversation <laughs> <laughs> really good conversation <laughs> you know and when uh, it starts to get you know problematic you just put the sock yeah. on the other foot it's uh, fine. but but fundamentally i i for my own personal preferences i i prefer a world in which people i'm going to say have values which say hey we're going to go ahead and recognize that as your property we're going to go ahead and recognize that you own that i, I don't really need to get into the weeds of you know the, the objective regality of that or the subjective the weeds reality of, of that. Oh, that's another page we need to make. The weeds of liberty. The weeds. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Uh, so nobody steal our idea. We're going to do the weeds of liberty, but steal uh, it. We'll have comp- pages. That's fine. Uh, and, and I also, for my own personal reasons, I I I am absolutely uh, opposed for all kinds of reasons to coercion, uh, being taken against individuals, and uh, Actually, you know, especially in conversation because there are coercive acts uninitiated. In Right. Like where you tell me what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like when you call me a commie, when I'm just trying to talk about an idea. Yeah. That's kind of like you're you're basically trying to shut them up, man. You don't have a conversation with them, which is, you know, that's your progress. Can't talk that's, about the ideas because of you your can, own you, insecurities. You, 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 can't, you can't dare talk about the ideas. You've created 
a bunch of no-go zones and I'm I'm going to keep I'm going to keep going to those places and as much as I possibly can I'm going to freely admit actually there's there's very little that I can actually say when I talk I'm like I'm absolutely sure I know what I'm talking about <laughs> very 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 little things that I could say that about I've seen too many times in my life that I'm like I'm sure I got the facts and everything's right and I'm you know and I got real good hardcore information I'm like I studied it and then I look and see new information a new perspective I'm like holy crap well, I didn't even know about that man well that that puts that into doubt now I got to figure out what the heck that means especially like this just puts you into doubt it it does not it puts me in I got to drink more I got to drink more if I drink enough I will forget what just happened <laughs> Wow. Oh, I thought that was your nipples. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I got when you have squeaky nipples, you may want to go and see a doctor about that. Squeaky nipple syndrome. So I think I think we've done this. This is about this is I think this is pretty, This is good. So what we're going to do generally, we'll we'll do Lozilla and then after Lozilla we'll come on and we'll do like a half hour 45 minutes of talking and, shit. And and you know what? Um this might be the last episode we ever do of this or we might do this for 10 years. Who knows? Or, or we might the next episode we might we might melt this down in a in a hail of uh, triggered cries. Who knows? Who knows? I don't really care. I think we're done. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>